Hi guys, this is Abdullah from Scientific Accent and in this video we'll talk about the rules of the American tea and how to practice it. The first rule we have for the American tea is when you have the tea between two vowels. For example, water, water, better, better, and later, later. The second rule we have for the American tea is when you have T plus L. For example, little, little, battle, battle bottle bottle the third rule we have for the american tea is when you have the tea between r and a vowel for example party party 40 40 started started also if you have a word that ends in a t and the next word begins in a vowel we connect them together and it becomes one word so the t here becomes between two vowels so we pronounce it as fast d for example get out get out, get up, get up. We have one case where we cannot apply the American tea rule. For example, the word attack. Here I have two syllables. I stress the second syllable, so I say attack. The T here is in the beginning of a stressed syllable. In this case, we don't apply the rule. For example, attack, attend, attach, attention. How can I practice the American tea rule? The idea of the American T is it's a light D, fast D. So I want to take the energy away from the D. And now if I tell you, don't think of a blue elephant. What are you thinking of a blue elephant? So the idea is when I tell you don't focus on the American T, you're going to focus on the American T. So what should I do to practice the American T correctly? The idea is we need to distract ourselves away from the American T. So I'm going to use three tricks to do that. So number one, I need to prolong the sound before and after the T. So I will say water, water. When you prolong the sound before and after the T, you take the energy away from the T. And then when you touch the point of the D, I want you to touch very lightly. So this is number two, touching the point of the T, touch very lightly. So I say water. Like this is like if we're gonna consider that this is the point of the D, I touch very lightly. I don't give it a lot of energy. I don't say water, water. No, I say water, and so on. And rule number three: don't cut the flow of the air. Don't say water, water. No, say water to take the energy away from the T. Of course, whenever we're speaking normally, we don't speak like that. But this is the best way to practice the American T. And you need to remember that this is an advanced rule. It is more related to the accent, not the pronunciation. So if you're a beginner or an intermediate English speaker, don't focus on the American T and focus more on the basics. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video.